Let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. We start in Guyana, where CARICOM community leaders have ended their two-day retreat, indicating that the process towards a single market economy within the 15 member groups that would have gone into effect in 2015 will now take longer than anticipated. The major objectives of the CARICOM single market economy are full use of labor and full exploration of other factors of production, such as natural resources and capital, and competitive production leading to a greater variety of quality of products and services to trade with other countries. It is expected that these objectives will in turn provide improved standards of living and working sustained economic development, according to the CARICOM Secretarist. The retreat was used by the leaders to continue discussions and prioritizing and focusing the direction of the community of CARICOM. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines will pay host to a major United Nations seminar next week as approximately 60 participants descend on Kingstown for the 2011 CARICOM Regional Seminar concerning the third international decade of the eradication of colonialism. The seminar, which will run from the 31st of May to June 2nd, 2011, is being held under the hospice of the United Nations Special Committees on the situation with regards to the implementation of the Declaration of Granting Independence to Colonial Countries and its people. The Special Committee continues to grapple with the thorny political issue of countries and territories that still remain under some degree of foreign control. Within the Caribbean region, issues related to Anguilla, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Montserrat, Turks and Caicos, and as far away as the Falkland Islands, which are all still under the control of a larger governmental body. The Special Committee hopes that St. Vincent and the Grenadines will assess the progress and set new benchmarks for the eradication of colonialism in its third decade. The Caribbean Regional Seminar takes place every other year. And finally, in Phillipsburg, St. Martin, the St. Martin Tourism Authorities are welcoming interests by an American hospitality company to expand its network in the Caribbean hotels to their islands. Speaking ahead of this week's annual St. Martin, St. Martin Annual Regional Trade Show, Director of Tourism Regina LaBega said that attracting trusted brands to their destination is very important at the time when resources are limited on spending marketing and advertising. With the Radisson, Sonesta, and the Weston brands already on the island, it would be a welcome addition to introduce choice hotels to the rich mix of hotel offerings, La Vega stated. Choice Hotels has a phenomenal marketing apparatus, the kind of which would help prominently position the destination in the global marketplace. La Vega added that she extended the St. Martin Tourism Bureau support to Choice Hotels in concert with partnerships across the island's hospitality industry. This Caribbean report is brought to you by Emerald K Tires, keeping you rolling right. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. It's Wednesday. Time to check in with Judy Fricks. She's got your Crime Stoppers report. I'm Judy Fricks with your weekly Crime Stoppers report. Crime Stoppers is asking for your help to solve the following crimes. If you know something, say something. Even the smallest bit of information may be just what law enforcement needs to solve these cases. On St. Croix, on May 7th around 2 a.m., police and fire got a call about a vehicle that was burning in a state LaGrange in Frederickstead. Now, when they got there at the scene, they found an older model Isuzu Rodeo on fire. After they extinguished the fire, they discovered a burned body inside the car. Fingerprinting revealed that it was the body of 28-year-old Mr. Stephen Hodge. Now, he was from the Ario Diaz and the Bethlehem Heights housing communities. He was a brown complexion. He was about 5 feet 5 inches tall. And according to information provided to the police, he was last seen in Frederickstead. If you have any information about who may have killed this man and then set his body on fire, call Crime Stoppers and tell us what you know. The minimum reward for the arrest of a homicide suspect is $1,500. And on St. John, the owners of number 6i Estate Anide, they went on vacation. They left their house around 6.30 in the morning on May 2nd. When they returned on May 13th at about 5 p.m., they discovered that their home had been burglarized. Now, it could be that the home was burglarized the day they left. We're not really sure. But burglars, they entered the, uh, the northwestern bedroom by removing the air conditioner from the window. They crawled in through a window. 
Now, the owners had hidden a wooden box in their bedroom closet that contained a lot of valuable jewelry. To be specific, there was about $7,000 worth of jewelry that was taken from that box. The family's devastated because it was all heirlooms and pieces that meant a lot to them. Two of the items stolen were white and gold bracelets with the names Dejean, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Nairi on them. Several other unique pieces were also stolen. If you want a complete list of the jewelry that was taken, you can visit our website at crimestoppersusbi.org. Minimum reward for the arrest of a burglary suspect is $714 plus 10% of the value of any property recovered. But remember, our maximum reward is $2,500. Now, on St. Thomas, sometime between Monday, May 16th, around 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. the next day, the owner of Al's Cafe in number 7879 from Princeton's Gata discovered that his restaurant had been burglarized. The burglar entered and exited through the, re the, the western glass window, and although at the time of this report what was stolen is not immediately known, we do know that the cash register was broken. You can submit information about these or any other crimes by calling 1-800-222-TIPS, which is 8477, or you can log on to our website and submit a tip there, always anonymous, www.crimestoppersusbi.org. Now that number and that website is right there on your screen. You can get a cash reward if your information leads to an arrest or the recovery of stolen property, weapons, illegal drugs. You can get a reward. Folks, we just yesterday authorized $5,000 in new cash rewards. If you submitted a tip in 2009, please contact us. Whichever way you originally contacted us, whether it's through calling or by logging onto the website, contact us in that way to find out if you are eligible for a cash reward. This has been your weekly Crime Stoppers Report. When we come back from this break, we'll take a look at some Elena Christian Junior High School kids who are rocketing from Puerto Rico. Stay with us. The students at Elena Christian Rocket and Meteorology Club give us an update of their recent trip to Puerto Rico. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report. Thanks a lot, Jerome. It's one of those win-win stories again. We all know Steve Bullock, who's been with us with his Meteorological Club. This is the Elena Christian Junior High School Rocketry and Meteorology Club. I got it right on one take. Steve, thank you. We're going to hear from a couple of the students, including the president of the club. And I want to welcome all you fine students out there, and good luck with your tests at the end of the year. Make your mom and dad happy. But they just took a visit uh, to Puerto Rico. It was well published publicized in the papers and everything and I've been promising you that we're going to get an update on it right. and uh, what's the uh, official results y'all went out there to Arecibo the sure. world's largest absolutely How was it? hey Wes this was you know win-win situation these students went to Puerto Rico and the places that they went after the trip they said Mr. Bullock every student in St. Croix or in the VI should get that experience because they went to Arecibo and saw the largest radio astronomy telescope and we're looking at some pictures now i sent to my email so yeah go ahead explain and that. you know this telescope has over thirty-seven thousand panels that make it up and it's able to track um intelligence you know sound uh, maybe any kind of um uh, uh waves coming from et yeah, right out of space that's and that's they're right. able to to um decode it and tell whether we have company we have friends out there. So it's really awesome. They went to the planetarium at the University of Puerto Rico, and these students had a chance to have lunch with 20,000 students from, the, from that university. Asia, and uh, what's your last name? White. Asia, white? White. White. Okay, what grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade, all right. So was this your, this wasn't your first trip to Puerto Rico, probably. Yeah, it was. It, it was? Did you could remember? Maybe you were there little or you don't know? No, well, I, I'm sure it's my first trip. It was your first trip. So tell us about it. What did you enjoy? I enjoyed the planetarium. Lots of planets to see and lots of things to know. Was that your first time being in a planetarium? No, second. Second. The planetariums are great, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a chance to go to the Hayden planetarium you heard of that in new york yeah. and then in, and i took that the class in, in school in college and i was my favorite um what did you learn about the, the second trip to the planetarium about our solar system and things 
I learned the different the different constellations, the constellations Cancer and Big Dipper. Mm -hmm. I learned how planets rotate the Earth. How it affects our weather and the seasons and everything, mm -hmm. of course. And you're into weather. What would you like to do with your career? So what I've seen over at Puerto Rico at the National Weather Center, I would like to be like the girls who transport weather, what's happening in San Croix over so people could hear what's going on with the weather. All right. Well, congratulations to you. I know you had a lot to share with your other students here that didn't have a chance to go and also your family that you had a great time. So thanks for sharing that with us. What's your name, partner? My name is Hector Acosta Jr. Hector Acosta Jr. You're very proud. What do you play, the tenor sax? Yes. All right. You have any um, famous people that you take after there? Uh, Al Hurt, Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, or anybody? Who do you take after there? Nobody. Winton Marcellus? I don't you, know. You, right? Yeah. Can you play pretty good? Yeah. Play me a little tune there. It has nothing to do with meteorology or rockets. All right. I'll put you on the spot. Maybe we'll get back to that. Check him out. He's got a great smile. What did you learn about when you went to Arecibo, world's largest telescope, and uh, also the uh, the uh, rainforest and also Puerto Rico? How, was that your first trip to Puerto Rico? It wasn't my first trip, but it was the first time I ever see some of the science places they had over there. And it was a great experience for me and my fellow members. I learned a lot at the planetarium about constellations mm -hmm. and with the different zodiac signs. It's a, it's a trip, huh? How the Greeks and yeah. all that um, with the uh, archer. Uh, what's that guy's name? Who's the archer? Sagittarius. See, help me out here. There you go. And this guy here, I have to tell you, is a very well-rounded gentleman. I got to tell you, you should be very proud. Your parents should be proud of you. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Ryan Aloyo. Ryan Arroyo? Aloyo. Aloyo. Yeah. Okay. And you went to, what grade are you in? I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade. How was that trip to Puerto Rico? It was good. What yeah. did you enjoy most? I enjoyed the seismic center. Oh, with the earthquakes and how yeah. you do that graph and everything like that. Yeah, you see the needle showing with like a pen yes. and it's making squiggle lines to yeah. tell you where did to... You, did you know that we are on a fault, aren't we? Don't, don't, is yeah, it, we are on a fault. We are on a fault, right? Yep. What would you like to do with your career? I... Uh, right now, I'm undecided. I have so many opportunities, so I'm, I'm looking at what I'm going to do yet. Okay, well, congratulations. Whatever you want to do, I'm sure you'll be great at it. You're a fine young man. When he talks to you, he looks you right in the eyes, right through your soul. And this guy's a gentleman. When we came in the room, he opened the door for everyone, you know? He's a great guy, man. Congratulations to you and your family. Y'all, give yourselves a round of applause. Go ahead. That's right. The Elena Christian Junior High School Rocketry and Meteorological Club. Once again, under the guise of Steve Bullock, you all are fantastic and much um, uh, just great hope for your future. You guys are going to all make us proud. Anything less, we'd be disappointed, all right? Absolutely. So keep getting those A's and B's. Yep. All right, from Elena, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.